Hey, Greg here. I just wanted to talk about uh, one of my new, well, not new, but one of my creations that I made. This is a homemade jet engine. It burns um, biofuels or basically really any fuel depending on like, well, yeah, it can burn anything flammable or combustible, but it has to have lubricating oil put in if it's like gasoline. So the basic parts are, it has a turbocharger here. It's uh, like one out of an Audi or something like that. I'm not sure. It says KKK. I didn't name it. Don't complain to me. K24. And uh, you can see the, the combustion chamber here is made of a boiler out of a coffee maker with an ashtray bolted to the front of it. It has a, du a dual fuel system that I installed. So it could actually take a liquid fuel through this little filter here. It goes into a fuel pump down here for a jet engine. Uh, it seems to leak a lot because I um, tried using biofuel in it once and then it started to eat away at the gasket. And then that goes into a fuel nozzle down here, which is out of an oil-fired burner for a furnace. And for running on certain kinds of liquid fuels, I like a flammable fuels, I use this spark plug here. But for certain fuels like diesel fuel, I use this glow plug in here with a heat sink that I made out of an RC car engine, so it doesn't overheat. And for gas-type fuels, I have this, this just a Tigon R, uh, F4040A line that I have. Um, that just puts uh, the um, gas fuel in there, like propane or natural gas or biogas. And the oil system, this is a pump I pulled out of like a Keurig coffee maker or something like that and modified it. These are just some um, Tigon oil lines which don't seem to hold up to this type of oil very well. I have to use BP Turbo Oil 2380, it's what uh, real airplanes use. The oil reservoir is like a catch can thing I got off Amazon for some kind of high performance car. The oil filter is, I, you can, I don't know if you can see that, it's a Fram Ultra Synthetic. Uh, filter I got at Walmart in the filter holder is something from a lawnmower that I got and If you look back here You can see that the oil from the oil can goes up into the filter. Well, actually wait Let me see actually no it goes out of the filter or I mean out of the oil catch can it goes into the filter Or yeah, and then into the pump and then it goes straight into the um the top of the hydrodynamic or journal bearings and then uh, gravity pulls it out through that line down there or back into the um, the reservoir down there. And I'm going to be redesigning this soon. So it's going to have a twin turbine setup with this bigger turbocharger here. I'm not sure. It's, it's kind of a cheap one. It's a Toyota CT26. I think it's used on like a Toyota Highlander. <laughs> you can see that the impeller, I modified it. I ground that away myself. It's like one of those Batmo wheels, if you know what those are. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but it seems to run pretty smooth and it's a lot quieter. So basically, it's going to pull air in through the big turbocharger, then compress it a bit, then force into the smaller turbocharger, compress it even more, put it into the combustion chamber, burn it, then force it out. The exhaust gas is going to be forced out and spin the exhaust tur the high pressure turbine here. And then at the exhaust from that is going to go into the low pressure turbine here, which is then going to feed the low pressure compressor, which is then going to feed the high pressure compressor again. So it's going to be a continuous... Um, uh, uh, sort of a cycle. That's how a jet engine works. But it's going to be a twin spool engine, kind of like what real airplanes use. I've never tried this before, but if it works in some ways, it should work here. I'm a bit worried that this turbocharger is too big, and this one won't be enough to actually power it. Or that one might overspeed this one. So I'm going to have pressure sensors here for the, um, the high pressure compressor. It's going to have something here that I can tell the pressure going to the combustion chamber. And then the low pressure compressor I'm going to have this um, thing here, it's like a little uh, pipe barb thing to connect to another meter to monitor the low pressure compressor's output. I'm going to have two exhaust gas temperature probes, probably one between the, the well, one is going to be near the, the high pressure turbine and one is going to be near the low pressure turbine just to keep an eye on all that stuff. And the starter is probably going to be an electric ducted fan engine or motor. I'm going to connect to the front of this. Although with a real jet engine, it starts by spinning the high pressure compressor in spool system instead of the low pressure. So I don't know if that's going to be able to spin up to enough speed to actually run it. I'm also going to replace a lot of these uh, plumbing fittings with uh, stainless steel ones. So it's going to be a lot different next time you see it. I have a video of it running. It's a kind of older video. And before I go, I'll just talk about the little controller here. It's just a, something I got off Amazon, a little like PWM controller, pulse width the modulation. It has switches that control the oil pump, fuel pump, and an oil cooler, which is no longer installed as I'm rebuilding this engine. So, see you later.